All right, so we're starting out the morning. It's about 7.30. This is hopefully going to be a long day. We're leaving Wesser Shelter, heading to the Knock. We'll probably be at the Knock before anything opens, and then pass through and head up the long climb. <coughs> As you can see behind us, we've got a clear day. Um, but it is pretty cold. Just just a little bit farther after we left the shelter. Such a novelty for us to actually see views. A beautiful cloud layer. Sunrise coming up on the uh, mountain peaks. Pretty. So much for making good miles. It's just too pretty. This section after the after the shelter is right along this ridge line. A little ups and downs, but with this view the whole way. I don't know, this might be the prettiest part of the trail we've done so That's far. Sure. You agree? Yes sir. <laughs> Alright, so just continuing on toward the knock. Look at this cool little ridge line. Almost a knife edge. Oh. Sorry, Mom. I know this is making your stomach queasy. You don't like heights. Definitely the best view we've had. I'd say there could have been better views, but all we saw was gray for the last several days. All right, we put the phone down so I don't fall off the edge. All right, I keep taking pictures of the same thing here, but uh, now we've come out to a little switchback point. We've got at least 180 to 270 degree view down into the Natahala Valley. Looks like that's the river down there. Kelly, I'm not sure I'd get you up here. It's pretty much sheer drop all around. I've always loved these, I don't even know what they're really called, I always call them ice flowers. When you come out and it's really cold, and the ice as it, the water as it expands just extrudes out the side of the mountain and makes what look like flowers. You see them all over the place when it's cold, really cold. And when they come out of the ground straight up, you crunch them the whole way down the mountain. So this section from Wesser Shelter to Nahala Outdoor Center, probably the prettiest we've seen, but also right now it's got more deadfalls than we've seen at all. I mean, this is, we've been seeing four or five or more every uh, mile of deadfalls like this. We're having to try to work our way around. And that makes it more fun. So this is just prior to coming into the knock. Another pretty little waterfall. There's a bunch of waterfalls. With all the water out here. So, we started this morning at Wester, like you saw. 
Uh, it was five miles, 5.2, something like that, down to the knock. We figured three hours, maybe. Well, it's approaching five hours we've been on the trail. And we're just shy of the knock right now. It was an interesting trail to walk. Loved it. Probably my favorite so far. But, like I just showed you, full of deadfalls. Um, and beautiful views that we were stopping to look at. And uh, lots of downs. That we were picking rock to rock or step to step. So it took us a long time. But, the advantage of that is it looks like we made it to the knock. Uh, after it's open. So maybe we'll be able to stop for some real food. We still gotta turn some serious miles tonight because we have 28 miles, including a really long climb up out of the knock uh, to get to Fontana tomorrow night for our two days there, or two nights there. So we'll see how it goes. We get down to the bottom here in a couple minutes. I'll kind of give a mini tour of the knock. Which, by the way, if you don't know, stands for the Nata Haley Outdoor Center. Alright, so here's an hour later, still at the knock, getting ready to leave. I just thought I'd fill you in a little bit. So River's End over here was a nice little restaurant. Had good beer, although didn't try it. Had a uh, wonderful veggie burger, making me happy. Outfitters right here, picked up some uh, liner socks to go with the uh, waterproof socks that are coming to Fontana. Uh, I'd heard people complain the prices were really bad. Didn't really experience that. It was a little higher, but not bad at all. And then across there is the general store. Uh, pretty limited resupply. The AT comes southbound, or northbound comes behind there where we walked by earlier. Um, I'm gonna go over there and see if they've got anything that I can't live without. Then we'll come back. And that's northbound AT and we start eight miles of climb. So bridge, still in the knock, still haven't managed to leave. So bridge over the Natahala where they uh, do their kayak training. You'll see the gates over here where they train. Well, this was a nice stop. So, we started out up here, wandered all the way down to the outdoor center, the knock right there, and then all the way up the ridge line to where we are. So that is, if you can see it down there, let me zoom in. That's the knock down there, and we just climbed. Oh, almost 2,000 feet to here in five miles, and we're getting ready to do another 1,000 feet in one mile. And then we'll be at the top of the first hump, and then we'll have to make a decision if we go on from there or stay at the shelter there. Needless to say, it's a long climb.